and all your paperwork looks excellent. I've already reviewed your chart. I see you did well on your true-false quiz that we gave you, so you're a good student of, of LASIK, and that's what we like. We like you to be educated prior to coming in. Okay. This is a very, very simple procedure, okay? and, I, and I want you to realize that. I know it's normal to be nervous, but the main things are that you're breathing and that you're relaxed in the face. Okay? Those sound very, very simple, the breathing part especially. When you get into the operating room, though, sometimes it's normal to hold your breath during some parts of the procedure. And I'm going to be reminding you not to. Okay, so just kind of keep remembering to breathe slowly and, and normally. I can do that. The second thing is to concentrate on relaxing your forehead. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be holding your eye open for you with a little device. And I'll just show you what it's like. You kind of just hold your eye open just like that, and that's perfect. And what we want you to do is we want you to keep your forehead relaxed and soft. We don't want you to raise your brow. We don't want you to squeeze your brow. We want you to just stay calm in your forehead, and that's going to be excellent, okay, okay. if you can do that, all right? So I'll be reminding you of that as well. Okay. There are two steps to the surgery, okay, and we'll talk you through the whole thing. The first step is called intralase. That's where we create the flap in your cornea in the first step of LASIK, okay? And what we, we do is we lay you under the intralase machine, and it lasts about 30 to 40 seconds, during which time your vision is going to dim out and there's going to be a little bit of pressure on your eye. So it's going to feel like my thumb is pressing a little bit on your eyeball. Okay? If you're breathing and you're relaxed and, and, um, and you're you know, listening to our instructions, there's music playing, it's really not bad at all. Okay? So it's about 30 or 40 seconds. After we're done with the first eye, we're going to do the exact same thing on your second eye. Okay? And one eye will be taped shut while we're working on the other eye. When we're done with that, we're going to swing you under another laser, okay? And then in that step, it's much different. This time, we hold your eye open again, but instead of being dim, it's going to be a, a light shining, and you're going to be looking at a blinking red target, okay? You're going to hear the laser zapping. It's fixing your vision, and you're going to smell something, an odor that smells sort of like your hair is being blown dry. It lasts about 30 seconds, the whole thing, and then we're going to finish the procedure, uh, which is very rapid, and, and we're done. When you sit up, uh, the vision is going to be better, but it's going to also be like looking through jelly or water, okay? But you're going to know something's changed. I'm going to take a good look at your eyes, okay? Make sure everything looks perfect, and once everything looks perfect, we just send you home, okay? Um, I will be giving you a numbing drop to go home with. It's in a little vial, and it's going to be marked with an N for numbing on the way out of here. And the reason we give you that is because 20 minutes after you leave here, your numbing medication that we've given you for the surgery wears off and it starts to burn and tear. And, and it can be um, more than you realize, actually. So we give you a little numbing drop to take with you. Go ahead and use it. The thing about the numbing drop is it dries your eyes. So following the numbing drop, you always want to put in a drop of that cysteine. Okay, so anytime you put in the numbing drop, you want to use a sustain after this. Okay? Can I put in the numbing drop? We don't want you to use it for more, more than two or three times, and you're really not going to need it probably even more than once, because you're going to go right home, put in your numbing drop if you need it, put in all of your medications one at a time, okay, and then go right to sleep. The main thing you need to do after this procedure is sleep for, th for three hours. We don't want you sleeping more than three hours because we want you to wake up and, and start the medications again. But if you're awake during those first three hours, you're going to be a little uncomfortable. We really want you to go home and take that nap. Okay? Once you wake up from that nap, about three hours, and don't sleep more than three hours because we want you to wake up and start the drops, you'll start your drops and you're going to feel fine. All the burning and the tearing, you've slept through it. Okay? So that's the way to do it. Uh, your vision's going to be a lot better. It's not going to be your final result, but it's going to be pretty good. Uh, tomorrow, the vision's going to be much better when you wake up, but it's still not going to be your final result. Most of the time, it's good enough vision to drive, to work, to do whatever you want to do. But there's going to be some glare, there's going to be haziness, there's going to be halos around lights. All of that is normal. It's going to take some days and sometimes even weeks for that to go away. So you, you need to use your eye drops the way we prescribe them, follow the instruction sheet, Use plenty of the lubrication drops, and you should do just fine. Okay? Any questions on any of that? No, I'm very excited. Okay, great. What I'm going to do is give you a few pills. Um, two of are a leave, which are just um, non steroidals, kind of like Motrin, okay? And they'll um, keep you a little bit uh, uh, more comfortable post operatively. And the other one is Xanax, which is an anti anxiety pill, okay? It's going to 
relax a little bit, okay, relax you a little bit, but it's not going to knock you out. It's going to make you a little tired, so when you go home, you're going to be able to take your nap. Okay, do you have any drug allergies? No. Okay, great. So that's it. I've gone over our pre-procedure guidelines, I've given you a preview of the procedure itself, and I've reviewed the post-operative care guidelines. I realize that this is a lot to take in, so feel free to restart the video if you'd like to review any of the details. Of course, if you have any questions or concerns, please contact our staff. And finally, thank you so much for choosing Millennium Laser Eye Centers, a TLC Laser Eye Center partner.